And now it's time for more of Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. This portion of the show is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. Maui Gym Sunglasses, the choice of the best captains. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best. Shimano. And by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Here we go. Another great hour of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's Talk Hookup. Here's Pete Gray, Rock Cod, Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's talk. Hook up on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here with Rock Cod, Rick Maxa. And we have Bart and Mike from the Fred Hall Del Mar Show coming up this Thursday through Sunday at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. And, boy, are we giving away great prizes to the callers. Dude, today. you're not kidding, man. Four, again, count them, four lucky callers at the end of the show today are all going to win a pair of tickets to come join us at the Fred Hall Show in Del Mar. A great opportunity to get through and enjoy the best show in town on us. So if you want to get your shot at winning those great prizes, there's two phone lines that get you through to the show. First is our local line. That's 858, area code 457 1090. Again, 858 457 1090. That's the local number. Or reach us on the toll free line. That one's 877 792 1090. One more time, 877 792 1090. Indeed. And Mike, you were talking about uh, uh, Creaky Tiki, who did mm-hmm. some great seminars in Long Beach, Bakersfield, and he'll be down here in uh, Del Mar talking long range fishing, right? Yeah. Uh, and. and <coughs> Creaky Tiki is the name that, that Dennis Grote uses in his book, Inside Guide to Long Range Fishing, which is the only modern introduction to long range fishing that, yes. I, that I've seen, and it's excellent. Um, he will be down in Del Mar on Saturday and Sunday, and uh, when he's not doing uh, his seminar, uh, he'll be doing that on the uh, accurate saltwater stage, but then he'll be uh, also at the Seeker Rod booth. So if anybody wants to visit with him and and uh, get a book or ask him questions. He's just a really down-to-earth guy that doesn't talk over your head. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of new stuff having to do with, with all types of offshore fishing, new being, you know, something that's evolved fairly rapidly over the last five years. The, thing, the game has changed a lot. Yeah. And um, and he covers a lot of great stuff. Like I love in the book he talks about Creaky's Tips. You yeah, know, and right. he gives some really nice inside tips in that book too. Yeah, I think it's a uh, it's it's something worth worth pursuing. You know, for the guys that are real veterans, probably probably, you know, you'd still learn a few things. But if you're if you're intermediate or if you're just thinking about doing long range fishing, I, I think that's a guide that you want to want to latch onto and and read. Yeah, you know, I want to mention our Let's Talk Hookup booth, which will be there. Uh, Master Gary White will be managing the booth for us, and I'll be in there occasionally. And <laughs> and um. When I'm not with Barton at Cigar Tent or, or wandering around talking <laughs> yeah, to people. Yeah, exactly. Checking but, out the uh, show. Yeah, but we have a great thing at our booth. Not only we have shirts and hats uh, for sale, our club card, but also if you sign up for our email blast or if you're already on our email blast, you have a chance to win two pair of Maui Gym sunglasses. So one pair is going to go to somebody who's brand new to our email list. One pair is going to go to somebody who is already on our email list. So just fill out that card at our booth, and we're going to draw that at the end of the show. Uh, and two lucky winners of your choice of any pair of Maui Gem sunglasses. And I'll say it, too. You do such a good job with that email list because I'm, I'm on it. It's my personal email, too. There's no junk mail. There's no, you know, you're signed up for this, you know, do you need to cancel? It's just a, uh, a a biweekly you know info sheet that Bill Varney puts together. It's always got cool information, good stories, good fishing, and that's it. It's not sold. It's not shared. It's not anything. It's just good fishing info that hits you every so often. When we got something worthy to tell you, you you get hit up on the email list. Yep, that's it for sure. So sign up at our booth and uh, get well rewarded uh, with a pair of Mary Jim sunglasses. Jeff Mariani, good morning. Hey Jeff. Good morning, you guys. How you guys doing? Great. Are you pumped up for Del Mar? Uh, yeah, you know, freak out mode, super high, super high, you know what I mean? Found coming back off of a uh, uh, Long Beach show that we just had, my first time being up there, you know what I mean? So, uh, God, it's, I just can't wait till Thursday. So. Yeah, totally. Of course, you'll have your own booth for Cedros Kayak Fishing and uh, right across on the Fast Lane booth and uh, uh, offering up some great trips, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Hey, the root of my call today is uh, I just want everyone out there to know 
how approachable Bart is, how approachable Mike is. I, I've been in construction my whole life. I'm a sixth generation carpenter. I talked to you, Pete, about my idea of starting this thing down on Cedros, and you directed me towards Mike to get myself a booth and everything. And I just want to say thanks. Like something that's not mentioned that these two guys do is, you, you like you're changing lives. I hope you guys understand that. You know, like my life is transitioning from construction over to my passion, you know, my hobby, everything, you know, Cedros Island. And that's, it's a big part of you guys, you know, all the direction, Pete, you yourself, you know, you started everything for me. So just that's something I wanted everyone to understand about these two men, you know, they're, they change lives and, you know, yes, they provide us a great fishing show. um, But for us vendors on the side, you know, if anyone's out there thinking, you know, they have a dream, they want to try something, man, they got to come talk to you. They got to go see Mike, you know what I mean? And, and uh, just, you know, get set up in this great show. I mean, Long Beach, absolutely. Um, with the direction from Mike, you know, tell me, started Del Mar, you know what I mean? Work yourself in. A couple years in, boom, here I am, third year. Hit Long Beach, absolutely, you know, changed lives. So, That's so um, cool. thank you guys. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you guys at the Bing Crosby Hall, <laughs> where my booth is. Right in the middle. <laughs> Across from Ron, exactly. Yeah. So, that, and, that's and, it. And you still have some spots left. I know we have a few spots left on our. Let's talk hookup two sponsored trips uh, coming up, right? Yep, absolutely. And uh, I got a couple trips that I just need like one and twos that I'm just I want to get off my head and just uh, uh, get filled here. So uh, if anyone's thinking of going to Cedros, you probably want to come to my booth and uh, talk to me. You probably get a, a deal of a lifetime flying from Southern California to Cedros. Sweet. So, cool. you, you, right. you know, Jeff, uh, one one thing here. Um, you know, Mike and I don't manufacture anything. Uh, we don't have a retail store. We don't sell anything. So the only thing we do uh, is promote sport fishing. Of course, we have boats we have to worry about in hunting, but really the heart of our business that my father started in 46 was the promotion of sport fishing. And uh, Mike came up with a phrase a few years ago that we still use in our business, is celebrate the passion. And uh, it's great to hear you say that because that's what we do. That's what we're trying to do. That's the only thing we do. I don't really care what's sold at the show. Yeah. I, I know this is heresy, but really, I don't care. All I care about is that people assemble in large numbers and celebrate the passion of sport fishing and, and know that others uh, are in the same boat with them, and every, we all love it together. Well, and here's the thing, too, Bart, is that you and your dad and Mike over the years have helped so many small businesses, including Let's Talk Hookup. I remember the first show I did in Del Mar <laughs> 28 years ago, and I had a round table. I was It was pouring rain, rain's coming all over the place. I had a banner and uh, a coffee, t- and, and, and your dad comes up and says, Kid, you got a lot to learn about show business. <laughs> I remember and, that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and he taught me, you know, and, uh, and it was, and that's what you do for small uh-huh. businesses, you know, and, and, you know, Jeff's, uh, 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 with Sejo's kayak fishing is another classic example is put Absolutely. a lot of people on the map for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks again, you guys. I super appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing you guys on Thursday. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for the call this morning. You know, another guy that was totally blown away that um, that I introduced to Mike and Bart uh, is Don Grow from Anza Knives. His first time at uh, at Long Beach, and and he's going to be in Del Mar too with his uh, his girlfriend Heidi, and, and 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 he was blown away. I mean, he says, you know, he'd only done gun shows before selling these beautiful yeah. Anza knives, and he was just absolutely blown away at how. Incredible the reception reception was for his knives at the show. My grandson is a proud owner of an Anza oh, knife. Oh, yes. cool. They're amazing knives. Yes. They are unbelievable knives. And he'll be in Del Mar again, right, Mike? He will. Yeah. He's got a pretty good location, actually. Yeah, it's great. And, and the knives are, they're not inexpensive, but you know why? Because they're good. Because yeah. they're good and they're <laughs> worth it, right? And they're, they're amazing. Funny how that works. They're mm-hmm. all handmade, yeah. and uh, he does. They do such a good job. They give you a special deal at the show, and so go by and see Don and and Heidi at the, at the show, and they'll give you a special let's talk hookup deal. And we're just so proud that they're involved and they've been successful. Yeah, with, and me with, too, you know. because you know you, you're the one who turned us on to him. Yeah. And, and and when we when I saw that product, it was like, wow, this is great. great. And he said, yeah. I'm going to be there, and sure enough, there he is. Yeah, yeah. and he's and he and he prospered. Good. So he's going to do great in Del Mar too. So. Be sure to check him out. Here's another guy that's going to be in Del Mar, Ken 
Corwin from Ken's Customs Reels. What's up, Ken? Hey, Ken. Hey, good morning, boys. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to jump on that bandwagon and, and thank uh, Bert and Mike and you, Pete, and Rick for uh, promoting us small businesses. You know, it's been it's been a huge boom for my business. I know that. And, uh, um, you know, I can't thank you guys enough. On, on another note, I want to know if Rick's playing golf tomorrow. Rock Cod yeah, Rick? Yeah, no, no, no golf for Rock Cod Rick. I, I'll be there, Ken. Well, I'm not, I'm not much be. of a golfer, but I'll be there with some clubs. I'll be in the same question as Mike Lum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah how, come on, you didn't, how come you didn't I'm ask me, go. Ken? <laughs> Just I don't golf. I'm going to be there. Come on, man. Step up. Uh, you yeah. know, I, we got one spot, man. Yeah. Well, it, you know, I got <laughs> to the end of the show to, to, find to, to golf work golf my way out of it. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so you're going to be there with your crew, right? Now, you have some real golfers in your group. Well, yeah, but... Um, yeah, not this year. Well, Wes will be there, so. Yeah, Wes is good. He he can hit it a mile. You can hit it a mile. uh, Jeff and Tuck and myself, we just kind of watch Wes, so. (laughs) It'll be be fun. fun. It'll be a good time. Yeah. But, uh, also, if you guys out there in, uh, listening, we will be at Del Mar, and we'll be fixing reels. So if you guys got some reels you need, uh, serviced up, there's a good chance you can get them done. While you're there at the show, which uh, if you bring them here to the shop today, you'll get them back in May. If you bring them to the show, you get them back the same day. So can, really, can, you go. I wow. got to I got to ask because it's one of my favorite things, and I went by your booth multiple times in Long Beach, and I always am just amazed at Wes with his head down. How many reels did Wes do at the Long Beach show? He got a hundred and twenty-six. <laughs> you got to be kidding me! Is that that's, a new that's record? That's crazy. Whoa. No, well, no, it actually, it was a little bit off from last year, so he's uh, slacking. But he's over it now. He's okay with that. He's okay <laughs> with it. All right. Well, it's but that's... even so, a hundred and twenty-five reels with people in your face and I just, smiling, it just keeps putting them together. I just don't it's, know. I truly do don't know how he does it. He's because, a master. Because Ken is right. I mean, it's not like. I don't think a normal person could do that many. I don't think a normal real mechanic could do that many reels in that amount of time, let alone he's still smiling and talking to you yeah. and how you doing and telling stories and how's the baby and all those things. <laughs> and yet he's still – and it's not like he's just taking them apart and putting them back together. They they still get the Ken's Custom Reel service. Like your reel's 100 yeah. times better than when you started. It's, that is the craziest so thing what, that happens to me. What you're saying is you bring it into the show in Del Mar, and you're going to walk out the same day with it. Well, that's the plan. Okay. It, 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 you know, if we get um, inundated, we can't get them all out, but we will do our best to get your reel done while you're there at the show. And you're getting it done by the best guy in the world. There's so. no question. Yeah. There all right, go. Ken. Well, great. Well, great. Ken's Custom Reels at the Del Mar Show. We'll see you there. And we'll see you tomorrow on the golf course. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> all right. Thanks for the call this morning. Appreciate that. Let's go ahead and jump into the jam-packed phone lines, Rick. You got it, man. Every single phone line is full right now, so we're going to jump back into them. Talk to Charles. He's called us from San Marcos this morning. Hi, Charles. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Charles. Good morning. Thanks, guys. Um, I was just wondering, when is if you could just go one day to your show at Del Mar, what would be the best day? It was like, would Thursday be better because it's less crowded, or do they have the same seminars every day? It kind of depends on what you want out of the show. If you have specific people you want to talk to, yeah, Thursday or Friday would be good. If you if you want to see the maximum amount of uh, of seminars and outdoor attractions at their peak, then the the weekend. You know, we have we have some people who come on Thursday, Friday to do their shopping and talk to the guys, and they come back on the weekend with their families and enjoy the the atmosphere. Yeah, and, okay, and, okay. And, and certainly the the Saturday is the most crowded of all the days. I would Saturday say. and Sunday are, are yeah. both crowded. And, and, you know, I think there's so much. you got to remember now, there's 200 seminars there in four days. Yeah. So the, it, 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 it depends yeah. on, on what you want to do. Uh, if you just want to kind of waltz through and pick up some good deals here and there and see one or two guys, you can do it on Thursday. But really, I, I think a show this big it deserves more hours. And, yeah. and uh, especially if you want to look at the boats. I mean, there's... <laughs> There's acres of boats there. Lots of boats. Yeah. And so, you know, it depends on what you want to do. If you want to really see the whole show, you need a full day, Saturday or Sunday. Uh, if you just want to do something specific and cherry pick something, Thursday and Friday works. I'd pick Saturday just based on hours, just for the fact that the show's open for the longest period of time. And there's no way, even with that being the longest day, there's still no way you can see it all in one day. But at least you can take in the most of it. So yeah. what are the hours, Bart? 
uh, well, they're t- um, d- during the week it's uh, it's twelve to uh, eight on, th- on, on Friday, Thursday and Friday, th- Friday, Thursday and Friday, and then ten to eight on Saturday, and ten, ten, to, eight on Saturday. T- ten to six on Sunday. But you know, we keep talking about Del Mar. It's like, oh, it's it's it's, it's smaller, it's slower. You got to remember, it's the fourth or fifth largest sh- fishing show in the country. Yeah. So it, it's not little. Physically, oh, it's, gosh, very, no. it's very it's large. physically larger than Long Beach. You know, yeah. So yeah. indeed. All right. Hey, we'll look forward to seeing you there. Come by our booth and say hi. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. It's a it's a, it's a party. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. 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 I like the fact that you have 805 now involved. Cause Isn't I, that cool? I yeah, like that. Totally. Yeah. Really That's my favorite. We're, favorite we're favorite. having a little issue here with the fairgrounds. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. You, you know, it's, it's so weird because in Long Beach, the f- concessionaires thanked me. They went, oh, this is great. Thank you. I think they sold... 380 cases of 24 ounce cans and another 20 kegs of, of uh, 20. With, I, I've never seen so many yeah. 24 ounce cans walking around. I know. And, and here, here in Del Mar, they're like, "Well, we have uh, we have another sponsor, and we can't really do that here." And I, what are you talking about, man? It's beer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Know? Come on. I had no idea. Mike was one that said, "I had no idea that those guys were all fishermen like that." I think oh, that's yeah. so cool. I think that's so cool. The, the guy, the head brewery guy for 805, it was a commercial fisherman. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, no, yeah. he's okay. So, the, so the the rep down here who put this all together, she calls me before long. She says, "My dad wants to make sure that you can get him some tickets. He wants to be there the first day. There's some deals he wants to get over at Fisherman's Landing." I said, "Okay." Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, these aren't guys that are just trying to get in on the fishing bandwagon. They're fishermen. Oh yeah, no, they're, cool. they're great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's a guy that will be at Del Mar. Bring your helmets, bring your goggles, seat belt, seat belt, the whole deal. Captain Dave Hansen, your saltwater guide with our fishdope.com report. You got it today. That's sponsored by the Fish Pros at Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. Be sure to see these guys at the Fred Hall Show, Del Mar. It's Fish Pros the Market. You're going to be able to purchase smoked fish, their jerky, spices, rubs, smoked cheese, all at special show prices. Fisherman's Processing and Fish Pros the Market. See them this Thursday through Sunday at the Del Mar Show, I including just, these specials. I just want to run through these specials because uh, Sean and the gang – they absolutely killed it in yeah, the new, their new spot right across from Let's Talk Hookup booth in, in Long Beach. And they're going to kill it here in Del Mar with these. So the lunch bag special, $25. Oh, uh, over half a pound of smoked fish, your choice. Pack of jerky, a pack of cheese, and an insulated lunch bag. It's a $32 value for 25 bucks. Any three rubs. Their rubs are hugely awesome. popular. Fantastic. Any three rubs for 20 bucks. All You get all 10 rubs for 60 bucks. <laughs> what a deal. Fred Hall's show special, 50 bucks. You get a pound of smoked fish. You get three. Pa- that's your choice. You know, wahoo, tuna. Yellowtail. Yellowtail. Three packs of jerky, your choice. Three packs of cheese, your choice. And then the gift card special, you get a $110 gift card for 100 bucks. So can't beat those deals at Fish Pros, the market, and Fisherman's Processing. And you can't beat... Captain Dave Hansen's seminar. Good morning, Dave. What's up, Dave? Hey, good morning, Pete, Rick, Mike, <laughs> Bart. Mike and Bart, thank you very much. You've helped to make my name pretty household name, even though I ride around on my dad's back all the time. You guys really helped me out tremendously. I get recognized all the time. Hey, I saw you at the Fred Hall Show. Hey, you are a funny guy. Hey, I saw you at the Fred Hall Show. I just want to thank Mike and Bart a lot because you guys helped me out tremendously. You have, a great, you have a great website, too. Well, thank you, Bart. Yeah, I try to keep it as current as possible. I try to add a new video every week. And uh, the amount of people involved in the website is mind-boggling, and i got to attribute a lot of that to you and Mike for allowing me to speak so much. I will be doing 10 seminars in Del Mar, guys. Ten. So if you haven't – yeah, 10 – Figure that out in four days. Hang on. So if you haven't seen me yet and you hear about it all the time, I'm telling you, you want to come see me. I got a time for you. If I'm doing 10, there's definitely no excuse for you not to make it to one of my seminars. And we'll be talking about fishing on your boat. We'll be talking about tuna. We'll be talking about rockfish and the new stuff that's going on in the rockfish world and how easy it is for everybody to get involved in rockfish fishing. And I'll be talking... If it has to pertain to fishing in Southern California, I'll pretty much cover it for you guys. As anybody that's ever been to one of my seminars knows, I have a hard time staying on track. So don't worry, <laughs> I'll cover whatever you guys want to hear. 
You know, we Go have ahead. to we have to put a title on those regardless of whether you stick to it or not. So I, I I laugh to myself when I title them. It's like this is just Dave's deal. So yeah. <laughs> so what's going on out on the water right now, Dave? Well, we heard big things from Mark Wish about Catalina. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff, but. Act. We're going to circle back around for a second, Pete. How important this thing is, my father talked about it in the last hour. This sardine thing is super important for all of us to be involved. If we don't let them know that we all care, they're just going to shove another closure down our throats, and we're just going to have to walk away with it. So make sure that you get involved somehow, some way. All the members of my website, there will be information Post it on my website. Pete will have information posted. Bloody Dex will have information posted. We need to get involved. CCA, super... be a member of CCA. CCA is heavily involved, and in now Wayne and Chris have been heavily involved in the meetings, and you can represent yourself by being a member of CCA, too. Absolutely. you got to be involved. Like Brian Woolley said, if you do nothing, then nothing happens. So, That's All right, gang, as said. far as fishing goes, Catalina, we got finally have some nice weather. There's some squid on the back side of the island. There's sea bass on the west end. There's some yellowtail down on the east end. That bigger bonita has showed up on the back side of the island on the troll rapalas. And I'm sure they'll bite the troll feathers. It's all about weather. Finally, we got a break in the weather. And then look what happened down south yesterday. The San Diego, a couple other boats got into that yellowtail down at the Coronados. And it's all because of the weather. As soon as that south wind and the rain stops, the fish are bouncing right back. The water temperature is 61, 62 degrees in a lot of areas. And, you know, if you just hang on here a little bit longer, right after the Del Mar show, I bet you someone stumbles into those bluefin. So just hang on, guys. you got to go fishing, but you don't want to go fishing next week. You want to definitely come see me speak. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and see us all at the Fred Hall Del Mar show. That's always a great time for sure. And, of course, fishdope.com. Danny and the guys had all the dope on that yellowtail down south at San Diego, and the Liberty had 50-plus on each boat, and uh, all that good information on how to catch those yellowtail. And 20 bucks off a new membership, thefishdope.com. Just use the code HOOKUPNOW, lowercase. See them at the Del Mar Show. They have special show deals just for you. Let's talk hookup listeners. And, again, we'll see you, Captain Dave Hansen, at Del Mar. Yeah, guys, I'm going out with Kelly right now on our skiff. We're going to go film some of this sardine, how it works, how to hook it, how to fish it, because we've got to keep up on this sardine thing. So check out my website at YourSaltWaterGuide.com, and I'll talk to you guys at the show next week. All right. T Thanks, Dave. Dave. Appreciate that very much. Paul Strasser from the Independence. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Pete. Listen, I am, um, you know, as we all have been hearing about the sardine issue, I just want to uh, – there's been a lot of issues talked about this throughout the shows the last few weeks, but I want to educate the listeners on why we came to this conclusion if it hasn't already become here. you got to remember, this is a federally managed fish, a fish that, that's managed by the federal government, not the state of California. The federal government, when doing their surveys, are only allowed to look in federal water outside six miles. All the sardines that my bait company catches, Irvingham catches, James out of Oceanside, everybody catches sardines anywhere from four fathoms to 12 fathoms of water, which is inside six miles. We go outside six miles, we never find sardines uh, fishing at night. 95 or 99 percent of the sardines we catch for Newport and L.A. are caught inside of three miles or inside of 12 fathoms. The science is not looking in the proper area for the sardines. I can go out in the middle of the ocean and say, I don't see, a, I don't see any sardines. Of course, there's they're going to be, uh, there's no fish. But they do not look in the shallow water where we catch fish time and time again, day in and day out. And the council knows this. We've been talking to them, but the council only listens to the science. The, the, they listen to their, their science management team on the federal level. And their NOAA ships only are allowed to look in the federal water. That's why we're up against this 27,000 ton uh, so-called uh, amount of fish that they've they seen. If they see 27,000 ton in area that I never see fish, can you only imagine how much fish are inside the areas that the whole bait company up and down the – our bait company, Irvingham, everybody catches it, yeah. it, 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 it's, it, it's beside me right it's now. It's mind-boggling you know? how Scary. bad their science is. And even though <laughs> all this sardine is in state waters – 
it is still federally managed, correct? It, it's a federally managed fish. The federal government manages our, uh, sardines, anchovies, mackerel. Well, we've got to the, knock the, some sense into these people. The, 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 state, the state of California, although, manages squid, okay? Yes. Now, can you only imagine on an El Nino condition – when the squid, as we do know, come and go during the hot water and cold waters, can you only imagine if the federal government managed squid on an El Nino condition? They would say, uh, we overfished them, there's no more squid in the ocean. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it's so important that, that, uh, that when, when people do write letters or do what they're going to do, they understand that the science is flawed. And we've been, we've been, we've been trying to prove this to them using uh, airplanes, using all other uh, sources, but they only are going to use the best available science. And that's with the NOAA ships. They drag these minute, uh, these minute nets behind the boat to catch uh, eggs, and then they count how many eggs for how many miles that they just drug, and then they do their calculation. They don't go out, you know. They they do not do acoustics. Uh, the 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 federal government does not do acoustics inside the areas that we've been fishing. Yeah, and, and where you've catch been fish. catching all the sardines. I mean, I'm, I'm so that's glad that you said this, Paul, because I had no idea. I didn't know that that's <clears throat> that that's what the scenario was. I just. Like a lot of us assume that they're just trying to say, okay, you know, th- th- that's oh, no, horrible. It, like, you know, I just had no idea that they how this was going yeah. on. You know, Pete, I mean, uh, if you're an outsider thinking, oh, I, I'm going to believe the federal government, but you have to remember how they get their information to come up with these conclusions on how there's no fish. Of course there's no fish if you're going to look where there's no fish. Right, yeah, exactly. But if you, if, you jump on the, if you jump on the St. Catherine with me tonight, I can show you school after school after school after school. As we venture down towards Newport Beach and six, seven, eight fathoms, another school here, another, and we've shown that to the council time and time again. And I just hope to God they can consider on keeping us fishing live bait because live bait is the heart of everything. Yeah. And just think, if they shut off the live sardine for us, it's going to be tough. Yeah. I'm now, to you're, of course, you're going to have to fish anchovies. It's, it's going to be tough. That's and, all I'm going to say. It's, it's true with your bait company, uh, San Pedro Bait Company. It's true, like you say, with the Oceanside Bait Company, the new, and you guys – uh, Dana Point, uh, Everingham Brothers uh, in San Diego. Everybody's oh, yeah. affected by this. Oh God! It, 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 it's it, we're the, the bait companies are at the top of the pyramid, and then everything gets affected after that. Yeah. Can you imagine going long range fishing without sardines? No. Right? No. I, I can't. It's a big I, but, deal. But, but what I'm getting at, it's I want to just make sure people understand how they got these conclusions of this flawed science that they use fishing. They 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 look offshore where we don't find fish. But that's where they're going to find. That's where they're getting their information from. Why are they doing that? Yeah, because they can. Yep. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Exactly. Well, it's the federal government, and according to the federal government, they're not allowed to go inside state waters, and that's where that's where the big sardines live. The look. sardines are born and raised. They're born o- offshore, and then as they get uh, they get you know you know you know so you tuna got the really small little baby fingerling fish inside their stomach. As they're they're born offshore, and as they get bigger, they go inshore. In the, in the shallow water. That's where we find all of our big sardines. You never find big sardines out there 30, 40, 80 miles. Yeah. You ever notice when you go on a, on a, on a school of tuna and, the, and they're on bait, you look in the water and the bait's a, a quarter inch to half inch to one inch long? Yeah. Because that's where they're born. They're born out there, but they, they're always, but as they get larger, they go into the beach. And they go and feed, have, them, they feed in the beach. Yeah, for sure. That's right. Well, that's where, the big, that's where all the big yeah. sardines, will get, they, they get hide. They get hide in the dirty water. They can... You know, because everybody's after them. Everyone yeah. wants to use sardines. Yeah, it's safer you know. in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, Paul. Exactly. Paul Strasser that from the great. Independent, Twenty uh, Second Street Landing, and of course San Pedro Bay Company. Thanks for all you're doing for sure, and we'll keep the battle up going. Yeah, sounds like we got it. We'll be going up to uh, Santa Rosa there on the 12th of April. So yeah. I'll put a, you know, there. You know, we've been doing this. Oh God, I just hope hope things go in our direction. All right, boys, Indeed. have a good show. All right, thanks, thanks very much, Paul. Appreciate All it. All right, let's jump back into the phones. They're packed up. Pete in Canyon Lake is up next. Pete, thanks for hanging in there with us. Good morning, Pete. Appreciate you hanging in. Good morning, Pete. Well, maybe he didn't hang Pete, in maybe as long. Pete didn't yeah. hang in with <laughs> a little us, okay? too long. Well, we'll jump back in then and talk to Chuck. Chuck's calling us from Dana Point. Hi, Chuck. Welcome to the show. Good morning, Chuck. Good morning again, you guys. Perfect show, man. Um, you know, we just need a president that fishes, you know. You know how many people would vote for that guy? <laughs> yeah. But, you know, Bart, you know, every year I buy weights and I buy all these uh, jigs. I need a shopping cart. You, need, you guys need to come up with a Bart Hall shopping cart that you rent to people. Ah. With, uh, oh, rod holders. Not a bad a idea. Beer cooler. 
Uh, you know? that, yes, not a bad and, idea. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Keep selling the beer because I'll have a better chance of that blow, <laughs> a kayak blowing up contest, too. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Have an 805 beer and then go blow up that kayak. Yeah, there exactly. you go. I like it. All right. Hey, good idea. Thanks a lot for the call. That You know, yeah. there, I see a sponsorship opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. More of your phone calls, more great information. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges. How do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target, the expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800 727 6136 or check kingfishercharters.com. Hey, this is Jeff from Sedros Kayak Fishing. 2018 was a fantastic season on Sedros and we are so jazzed for 2019. We are the only tour group serving Sedros that is now flying all of our trips conveniently from Southern California. Yep, you heard me right. SoCal. No more rod fees, no more overweight charges, no more parking fees, no more border weights. Just a nice private charter flight down to the island where we will have you fishing that day. That's right. We arrive at Sedros by 10 a.m., so be prepared to fish hard that first day. Yep, all included here at Sados Kayak Fishing. Don't want to fish from a kayak? No problem, as we have also added a brand new custom 28-foot Super Ponga to our lineup to accommodate our growing demand to provide Ponga trips. We are the small group specialists. If you are looking for a more custom-style trip with a personal feel, Sados Kayak Fishing is your spot. Visit our website at www.sadoskayakfishing.com or just give me a call at 760-412-2507 to secure your spot. It's Fred Hall Show time and Fisherman's Landing Tackle has the best selection and the hottest deals in the show. Hi, this is Doug Kern. The huge Fisherman's Landing Tackle booth is a must visit and the deals will be unmatched. Check out the most complete selection of Shimano products. Talica, Trinidad, Torium, Terramar, Therese, Stella, Saragossa, Power Pro, Tackle Bags and the all new exciting Tranks 200 Reel. The Fisherman's Landing staff has used Shimano products for years and knows your needs. Come visit the most spectacular booth in our history. Fisherman's Landing Tackle, a must-see at this year's Fred Hall Show. Hey, it's time for the 30-second Power Pro Seminar. Here's the hot tip for those of us that like to fish with small reels for big fish. Fill your spools with Power Pro Max Quattro. It's 25% thinner than standard Power Pro. That means you're going to get more line on that small reel. Plus, you can fly line your bait more effectively. Here's another tip about Power Pro Max Quattro. Your casting distance will increase in addition to increasing your spool capacity. So downsize your tackle and use Power Pro Max Quattro. Check PowerPro.com for more information. We all need to get around, but we all need something different from our vehicles. Your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered if you're looking for a new truck this month. Plus, it's SUV season, so they have great deals for everyone. Whether it's a new Echo Sport that is nimble and fun around town, or the Ford Explorer that is capable of putting a boat in the water and has seating for seven, Ford has you covered. Ford trucks and SUVs aren't just powerful and legendary. They have the latest technology that helps you seamlessly connect your smartphone and ensure you're safe on the road. Features like Pro Trailer Backup Assist on trucks are truly a game changer at the ramp, helping you back up a trailer by simply turning a knob on the dash and doing the hard work for you. So check out all the great deals during SUV season and save some money on the right gear for you. Learn more at buyfordnow.com or visit your San Diego County Ford dealers today. They'll be glad to hook you up. San Diego's sports leader. The home of ESPN Radio. The mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Having a great show, man. Oh, my gosh. Such a great show. If you want to get through, one line open, 858-457-1090. Open right now. 
It's a whale of a show, right, Bart? It's a whale of a show. Yeah, indeed it is. Let's go ahead and jump into the phones. You got it, man. Well, they're packed up. This time we're going to talk to Fred. Fred's calling us from Pacific Beach this morning. Hey, Fred, welcome to the show. Good morning, Fred. Good morning. How are you today? I was just calling to see. I, I've i never been to the Del Mar show. I've always go to the Long Beach one. I've been going there for the last 40 years. Never missed it. Question was, if I come to Del Mar, do I see any fresh water tackle besides the ones from uh, Turner's? Lots of fresh water tackle. In fact, Fisherman's Landing and Turner's will have that incredible deal on the Shimano SLX, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, although, oh. although we are a saltwater tackle store, a lot of those reels apply towards freshwater. That SLX probably being the main one. If, yeah. if you aren't, aren't familiar, SLX is a low-profile bass reel, most at home in freshwater, certainly appropriate for spotties and calicos, things like that. But it's a reel that sells for over $100. If you buy it at the Fred Hall Show, you get that reel, and you get a rod that's valued at over $100. You get both rod and reel out the door for less than a $100 bill. Less than 100 bucks. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got to we got to get Mark's mic on there. Um, yeah, Adam, are we are we down the mic? Uh, maybe we're gonna have to share a mic there. But um, anyway, uh, uh, the um, the Turner's the Turner's has a tremendous selection of freshwater tackle, and they're gonna have a huge booth, right? Yeah, and and, and you know we always people always say, well, you know, it's the the, all the saltwater stuff at your shows, 80% of the people that attend our shows fish freshwater as well as saltwater. Sure. Yeah. So the, the retailers do carry a lot of – especially in San Diego. you got all these lakes here. Absolutely. This, this is this – is, Great, yeah. I always chuckle uh, at the at the start, start, start of the show on uh, at Long Beach on Wednesday. As soon as we start, uh, you know, we've scrambled our butts off to get our booth looking as good as we can. Doug and I always chuckle because about the second that the show starts, it usually takes a few minutes for guys to get through line and guys to make it to our booth. Doug and I always look to the left and right, and half of our crew is gone, and that's because they know that they've got about 15 minutes that they can run and go purchase freshwater lures and freshwater tackle. All of our guys are out buying freshwater gear at other booths. Meanwhile, we all work in a tackle store, and then they come running back with whatever bag they have, throw it in the back room, and, okay, here comes the onslaught of people, and away we go. So Yeah, it's cool. Lots so, yes, of freshwater lots gear. of freshwater gear at the show for sure. Fred, we'll see you at the show, and, yeah, you – you're in Pacific Beach. You've got to come to Del Mar. Oh, yeah. It's your backyard. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Let's go ahead and jump back in the phone. Richard in Monrovia, another very patient caller. Richard, thanks for hanging in there with us. Good morning, Richard. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Uh, first, another uh, thing for political stuff in fishing, there is a seminar or, or public forum for the fish and wildlife at Bass Pro Shops on changing the trout seasons through the inland waters. Oh. And this going to be on April April 6th from 12 to 2 at Bass Pro in Cucamonga, Ranch okay. Cucamonga. That's a good tip. Thank you. Yeah, so Joe's know, but I know, I know Bart likes to go up there, so something for him to know about. And, hey, Mike, um, I noticed that the Hobie seminar calendar is partially cut off on your website, so I can't plan my my day in, of, of when I'm going to be in the in, in the seminars and when I'm going to be fit shopping, so you might want to tweak it. I'll take a but, look at um, that. Yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, I'm on it's, it. it's, it's minor. It's minor. Just let you know. Hey, um, so – my question it is, looks like it be... looks like it's okay. Yeah, I'm on it right okay. now. Maybe it got updated, or maybe there's something maybe with your iPhone. browser. But I'm definitely on it right now for the full the full schedule. Yeah, it Thank could you, be man. your I'll, browser I'll, I'll check, too. I'll check my browser. Go to, yeah. I'll go to a different version. Yeah. Hey, um, and then and then for the show, do you guys have one of the a real companies doing servicing? I saw her Kim's doing it, so that may be the way to go. And if not, will they be at the um, at the day of the docks if they won't be at the show? Uh, yeah, well, Ken's is there. You know, yeah. Ken's can fix anything. I mean, you know, <laughs> he talks about being a small business, but he, you know, he's he's larger than life. You know, Wes is like a genius. Yeah, yeah you want your reel fixed, go see Ken. And he will not be a day at the dock. No. Nor will anybody else doing real service no. other no. than if you want to drop it off at our tackle shop. Right, yeah. If, if you want to uh, bring it down to Fisherman's Landing Tackle and... Right. We've got great real service. But it's the only place I know of, period, I mean, that includes at a show or at not, that you could get a real service while you waited will be this week at Del Mar with Wes at Ken's Custom Reels. I, I don't think that service is basically available any time from here on out. Yeah. With a smile on his face. Yep. Indeed. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call <clears throat> this morning. We'll see you in Del Mar. All right. How about next up we talk to Brian from Westminster. Hey, Brian, welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Morning, Brian. Good morning, guys. Um, my question is for Bart and uh, uh, 
want to know how far in the future do you have to plan your your shows, and do you guys get any downtime at all between your shows? Uh, uh-huh. I I was already thinking about in the middle of the night last night something I want to put together for twenty. Uh, 21 and 2022 and and, and and it's weird it comes in the middle of the night and uh no we, we yes do we get downtime we get times when r- right now i think we've worked i don't know a hundred and some days in a row uh without a break mike works more hours than i do but he's younger he's supposed to um but but uh and we get we get a chance to get back to a regular schedule coming up here in, in uh, april we'll you know, have a five-day week and, and stuff, and and then we get to take some time off and go fishing uh, in the summertime yeah. a little no, bit. I, I, I'm going to correct you for a minute. Yeah. He, he's he's not only younger, but he's not human. Because <laughs> no the guy kidding. works no like he, he like works like nobody I've ever seen in my life. This no, guy he, works nonstop. He works 14, 15-hour yeah. days. You know, yeah. uh, seven days a week for four or five months in a row. So. It, it's crazy, uh, yeah. but uh, and I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> but I've had a pretty good run this year myself. But yeah, you you tell them. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, talk, say something. I, I, have, not to, just I me. have to tell you over the, over all the years, the the question that used to really really light me up, and it doesn't thankfully anymore, is what do you guys do the rest of the year? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like me with uh, oh, you only have to work four hours a week. That's right. right? Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Mark no. Wheeler's favorite thing to tell yeah, Pete is right. he has a four-hour work yeah. week. The, four hours the week. schedule, the schedule to prepare, it, it takes every bit of the year to get these shows done, and sure. a lot of things that the public doesn't really stop and think about and doesn't need to, frankly, is the behind the scenes and the exhibitors. You know, the, we don't own all this stuff. We don't haul it around and put it up. This is negotiating with, with thousands of customers that uh, exhibitors that have to prepare and plan and agree. And uh, then uh, the sponsors and then the venues and the advertising and the media and the articles. And there's just a lot that has to be done in a pretty short amount of time. I can't imagine the work that's put in by these guys at this table only because I know how much effort we put into doing our display at Fisherman's Landing. We work for months and we're one booth inside the show. I mean, it's a month's it's months worth of work and it's meetings and it's all hands on decks and all of us are planning and preparing. And we're just one booth out of hundreds of. I mean, probably thousands. I just I can't is, imagine it, it the jigsaw. Is, it is part. thousands, and you got to remember that you know when you're talking to new exhibitors, you're talking to many of them before you know someone finally says yes, I'm going to try this. So it's it's an, it's a pretty heavy pace. But I got to tell you, you know, that my involvement with the uh, Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea program, and I love going to an event where all I have to do is be responsible for that booth. Yeah. It, it is so much like fun for me because people will still ask me, where's this? Where's that? I just shrug and go, I don't know. I no idea. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's got to be the best feeling oh, answer it's ever. it's wonderful. Yeah, I love cool. it. Yeah, for sure. Hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. All right, let's jump right back into the phones, and we're going to talk to Pete. Pete's back on the line from Canyon Lake. What's up, Pete? Thanks for hanging in with us. Good morning, Pete. Thanks for joining us. Hey. Hey, good morning. My pleasure. Thanks for taking my call. I just have three quick questions. Um, is the scuba tank going to be there at the show, and are you going to have more or less boats than Long Beach? And what year is where you're at the Great Western Exhibit Center? Wow. Whoa. Calls. Yeah, great yeah. calls. Well, we, uh, we will not have the dive tank at uh, at Del Mar this year. Uh, we, we do that with Jonathan Hall, and he's based in Long Beach, and it's a, it's a lot of work deep for him. Deep blue scuba. Yeah, a, a yeah, deep blue scuba. Guy. He's a great guy. Uh, a great diver. You know, he's a, a CIS diver for the FBI, and he's he's a great guy. Um, let's see, what else was the question? For, uh, boats. Did, number of boats, boats. will be more more or less. You know, I don't I don't know the number exactly. It's approximately the same, to tell you the truth. You got to remember that that the O'Brien Building, uh, the, the sports arena in Long Beach is about eighty thousand square feet, and the O'Brien Building is over like a hundred. So we, it's all full of boats, full and then boat. we have some boats in the Bing Crosby Hall. It, it's approximately. And you have boats outside. This boats year, outside. Too. It's approximately the same in boats. Uh, most of the same dealers do both shows. Uh, we have a couple more, a couple more different dealers down here that we don't have in Long Beach. Uh, and in, as far as the Great Western goes, well. Um, Let's see. That's a good question because uh, I'm not exactly sure when we left uh, Pan Pacific. Uh, uh, it was what is this? And this is 2019. Uh, probably in the 70s. 
Okay. I'm yeah. thinking, you know, so. All right. Hey, good questions, Pete. Thanks a lot for the call. It, it might just that. be because of layout. I feel like there's more boats in Del Mar Seems than like there it. is in Long Beach. Yeah. It, it's probably just a layout thing, but it feels like there's more boats. Well, they're here. spread out in Long Beach. You know, you got them. You got them over in the in the exhibit hall in different places, and then that whole sports arena. So it's approximately the same. It's it's boats and motors. Like for example, H uh, and H Marine, right? Yes. Jeff, yes. Uh, Jeff will be there yep. um, talking motor service, Yamaha outboards, yep. yep. and such like that. Uh, Jeff's a great guy, great mechanic, and um, Jeff will be there talking talking boats and motors. Our oldest exhibitor is a boat dealer. Uh, oh, sea no Witch Marine. Sea yeah. Witch, really? They're no, the that's... oldest exhibitor. Yeah, because my, my dad and his dad used to work, and I, he and I would sit there and really? glare, at e- glare at each other. Yeah, we would yeah. glare at each other. You know what? That's wow. hilarious. I, yeah. wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought that. Yeah. The Sea Witch yeah. is your longest. Uh... Yeah. That's down, so down cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, let's jump back on the phone. You got it, man. How about we talk to Carl calling from Escondido this morning. Hi, Carl. Welcome to Let's Talk Cook Up. Thanks for joining us, Carl. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, I have a couple of questions. Um, on the... On the Tickets that are going to be drawn on Sunday, do you have to be present to win? or? No, you do not. You're talking about the Rollo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, no, you do not. In fact, what we'll do is uh, the top ten prizes, which have already been predetermined, we're going to draw the ten first tickets and set those aside, and then we will actually notify those people, and in order they'll get to pick from those ten items. So you have a really good chance of getting something not only nice, but something that's appropriate that for want. what you want. I think that's great. And it takes a little while uh, to do it that way, but it's actually a much better uh, how result. How many so. different prizes are there for this? I think, I think we're at 28, I think. I think wow. we're at 28 this year, but it, the, the the selection of products is amazing. It's oh, yeah. just truly amazing. Yeah, So, and you still have chances to buy more tickets at the show. Yeah, they're $10 a piece. The donation is $10. You can also um, spin the wheel, and, and uh, if you, let's see, we have a spin to win. It's a ten dollar donation to spin the wheel, and and certain numbers on there award you with a uh, with a raffle ticket. But if you you also have the option of spending twenty dollars to spin the wheel, you're playing for a better, higher price grand prize. But every spin gets a raffle ticket. So for twenty dollars, you get a ten dollar raffle ticket, and you're playing for a better prize. That's so cool. the twenty dollar ticket's pretty popular, or yeah. twenty dollar spin. Right? And don't mm-hmm. forget, all of that money goes to taking kids fishing. That's the whole purpose of the whole Rollo fundraising thing at every event we do. The more money we can raise, the more kids get to go on their first ocean fishing trip. And uh, as you know, we're we're closing in on a hundred and thirty thousand kids. Unreal. Um, so cool. Since '99. We'll see you at the show, and thanks for supporting Captain Rollos. Appreciate it. Hey, let's head out to. Ladera Ranch. Talk to Dave is online. Good morning, Dave. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, Dave. Thanks, fellas. Hey, uh, the, the question I have is at the Fred Hall show or even locally down at Dana Point or anything, is there a place where a kind of novice fisherman like myself can go get information and and uh, about shore fishing, the kind of gear to use, the kind of bait to use, you know, what I'm in need while I'm doing that? Yeah, I mean, we were talking about it earlier. You know, you got the Iserline Fishing Coach. You can go in there and get, ask any question you want. We've got uh, 200 seminars going on. Pick the one. Look on the website. Uh, look at all the seminar venues. Pick the ones that you think apply to what it is you want to do. And there's so much knowledge in yeah. that room. There's so many people with so much. All the captains. Right. The Seafor Sport Fishing Booth, the Fisherman's Landing yes. Booth. Uh, well, Varney is like your I mean, man. Like that's yeah. that's like tailor made for a Bill Varney question. Yeah, yeah. Go, go see Bill Varney seminar and, and then go meet with him afterwards. Too. Bill yeah. Varney, have a oh yeah, go yeah. hang out with him. Yeah, you know. if he doesn't have another medical mark. And this is the place where you learn. This that's the idea. That's what we do this for. Yeah. That's what I do it for. I don't. I'm not selling anything. We do this so you can learn how to fish and and celebrate your passion. That's the idea, Mike. You have a couple of things. Thanks a lot for the call, by the way. I, I just wanted to remind everybody that. Uh, uh, Coastal Conservation Association has a great program. Um, we want everybody to join CCA Cal, but uh, they've got a, a really, really aggressive program this year for the Fred Hall shows. If you uh, support them by by renewing or, or or getting a membership outside the show, you not only get your admission into the show included, but they have got a target raffle of some of the most amazing products. Product. I mean, really, truly, you look at them and go, "That's amazing." Yeah. And uh, you get entered into that. You can also buy extra tickets if you if you already paid your membership. You want to buy some tickets. 
Um, all those items will be given away at the conclusion of the show, and uh, you get to pick what you put your tickets in. So I believe it's a $50 buy-in, and that includes your annual membership, which is $35. It, it includes your admission into the show, and plus you get these raffle tickets, and, right. and you're supporting CCA. So that that is really something we'd like everybody to it's take advantage deal. of. Yeah, for sure. um, the other thing I wanted to mention was, uh, and we didn't, uh, this is the first year we're going to have the Custom Rod Depot getting started in Del Mar. We, oh, it's great. turned into a big deal up in uh, in Long Beach and uh, stop by and see them. It'll be in the exhibit hall. There's uh, two or three uh, vendors there as, to get this started, but there will be a, uh, an assortment of custom-built rods. You can you can ask for a ballot and vote, and you get to pick which one you like the best. It's it, it's really a great introduction to custom rod building, and it's uh, down in Del Mar for the first time, and I know it's going to grow. Next year, it's going to be even bigger. Indeed. And Johnson Hicks Marine, we didn't talk about that. Yeah, oh, you know, yeah. Huge marine. Marine display. display. Yeah, he, did, he killed it with Simrad and, and more Oh, he killed there. it. Isn't, yeah. isn't all of this exactly what Fred Hall is about? Like, <laughs> yeah. even in two hours, so we couldn't stuff. cover, you know, yeah. the stuff. It's going to be a blast. Hey, when we come back, we're finding out who's going to the show because we're giving away four pairs of tickets. You stay tuned. More Let's Talk Hookup coming your way on the Mighty 1090. Hey, this is Rosie with Cedro Sport Fishing. Cedros Island is considered the yellowtail and calico bass fishing capital in the world, and nobody does it better than Cedro Sport Fishing. We are committed to providing first-class service to our guests, as well as an unforgettable fishing experience. We have made a good thing even better. We now have a direct flight departing to the CBX in San Diego. Leave home in the morning and fish in the afternoon. We have a beautiful waterfront lodge with first-class accommodations and meals. What are you waiting for? Call me at 619-772-7570 or check out sadosportfishing.com. Book soon. Trips are going fast. Hi, I'm Bart Hall, and I'm honored to tell you about the 43rd annual Fred Hall Show, March 28th to the 31st at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. I'm proud of our 43-year-old San Diego Show. The San Diego Show is one of the country's largest sport fishing shows, one of the nation's most prominent boat shows, and a world-class international sportsman's travel show. For many exhibitors, this is their favorite show of the entire country. You'll be entertained by nearly 500 booths, over 200 seminars, acres of boats, and dozens of family fun activities activities. Kids 15 and under are always free, but the Fred Hall shows also strive to help preserve the outdoor recreation lifestyle that so many of us cherish. You can help by supporting the Coastal Conservation Association of California, and when you do, you'll get in free. Join us and celebrate the passion for outdoor recreation at the Fred Hall Show, March 28th to the 31st at the Del Mar Fairgrounds, presented by Progressive. Check us out at fredhall.com, and remember, it's a whale of a show. When you put on a pair of Maui Gym sunglasses, the world begins to look different. Colors are more vivid. Contrast is clearer. Details are crisper. Wherever your vision leads you, beauty follows. With polarized lenses that eliminate glare and enhance color, Maui Gym sunglasses won't change the world. They'll change the way you see it. Color. Clarity. Detail. Maui Gym. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. Turner's Outdoorsman, Southern California's number one shooting, hunting, and fishing tackle retailer since 1971, is right in your neighborhood. Now with stores throughout Southern, Central, and Northern California, no one does it better. Turner's Outdoorsman brings you the best prices and selection, plus a knowledgeable staff that will help make your day on the water or in the field more fun. Stop by your neighborhood Turner's Outdoorsman. To find a location nearest you, check the web at turners.com and sign up for special deals and more. Cast Tours is a family-owned and operated travel company that specializes in taking you to great fishing destinations. They take pride in providing the best and most affordable vacation packages available. For over 20 years, Cast Tours has been creating unique sport fishing and vacation trips. Whether it's a fishing trip, a family vacation, or an adventure, they will provide you the service and value you deserve. Call Cast Tours at 800-593-6510 or check casttours.com. Oh, God!
Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. All right, we got four big winners all getting tickets to the Fred Hall Show in Del Mar. That's going to Pete in Canyon Lake, Fred in Pacific Beach, Dave in Ladera Ranch, and Troy in Fontana. Guys, congratulations. I'll see you on Thursday. Yeah, indeed, and uh, we'll all see you on Thursday. Come by the Let's Talk Hookup booth. Look forward to seeing everybody there. And, of course, Ricky will be in the Fisherman's Landing Tackle booth. Every and, day, uh, I look forward to seeing everybody good. and, and you, deals. Now, are you guys going to be at the show? Uh, yeah, we, we, <laughs> we are. Are. We've decided we're going to go Mike this year. Bart, yeah. All, yeah, yeah, you're going to be there. Uh-huh. And if you want to meet Bart, you want to meet Mike, just go by the office and just ask for him. They'll ask be around. Him, yeah. yeah, it's such a great show. And so Can't give wait. us the rundown. Oh, well, okay. Uh, you know, uh, San Diego's biggest boat show, San Diego's biggest fishing show, San Diego's biggest outdoor recreation event of the year, hunting, fishing, travel, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. A full day is a family fun for you and your kids. It's a whale of a show. It's a whale of a show. It's uh, Thursday and Friday, 12 to 8, Saturday, 10 to 8, and Sunday, 10 to 6. And you park right there at the Del Mar Fairgrounds? Parking so easy yeah, there. So easy. It's great. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, so just yeah. come by. It's a, it's great family fun. Kids get in free. Kids get the fish free. Yep, over a million and a half kids have fished in our trout ponds over the 73 years of our existence. Gosh, That's right. a lot of people that start, I, start fishing. I say it all the time, but it's some of my earliest memories as a me, kid me is too. fishing in that trout pond. Me I, too. I love it. Indeed. Well, hey, it's going to be a great week. Come and see us Thursday through Sunday at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. And thank you for listening. Hey, thanks to Adam for all he does. Check out our app. He's got it all downloaded on there. Our app is amazing. If you haven't downloaded it, go to the Google Play or the App Store and get it free today. Next Saturday, Eddie Dalmo and the gang from Van Warmer Resorts. Next Sunday, Bill Varney will be here talking surf fishing. Thanks for listening today. We'll see you Thursday at the Del Mar Fairgrounds and right back here next Saturday and Sunday on the Mighty 1090.